Woo. What's going on everybody? Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. And today we are moving chicks to the new brooder. But first we gotta get this brooder set up. Cherry limeade, what y'all know about that? Man, you guys are gonna freak when you see this brooder. It looks totally different. So yes, the shack that was right there that we just moved in the last video has gone through an extreme coop makeover. I mean, I put my Jason Crocker on this. That sounded bad. I put my Jason Crocker spin on this like you wouldn't believe. You guys ready to see it? All right, here it is. Bam, look at that guys. That is night and day. So basically what I did was we installed a screen door that was left here, brand new in the box from the previous homeowners. I didn't pay nothing for that. So I'm out ahead. Well, I guess if you count the price of the house, I probably overpaid for it. So besides that, moving on, we had some sealer left over. That was like ancient guys. I brought, I've been, this stuff was probably like five years old. It's been froze like three times. I'm surprised it worked, but we wind up sealing the whole thing. I didn't power wash it or nothing. And then I went and got some dark stain. And this is where the, my crocker, my crocker tricks come into play. Where I just stained the trim on it and gave it a totally different look. This uh, is all going to get covered in wire. Probably, I don't know if I'm going to do hardware cloth or do that, that dog fencing. I don't know yet. But we don't need that right now because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our meat birds, which are in the barn right now and they're in that small brooder because i got 50 meat birds that you saw and this is just this brooder that i have in there is just too small for 50 meat birds i mean it works right now as their chicks but it's not working out inside my barn because man 50 meat birds that barn is projecting like six different levels of funk in there and it is absolutely gag reflex getting engaged so this is going to get turned into the brooder now let me show you this cool trick or the cool feature on this that is the reason why we don't have to put wire up just yet. Let's go inside and take a look. Guys, come on, come on, let's go inside. Don't mind the mess. The turkeys figured out how to fly and roost. So that will get cleaned up. Bad turkeys. We'll check on those too. But this is what I wanted to show you. You guys see this up here? These doors are these panels they flip up and they store up so you can open this all up and get tons of air now i'll show you how this works so all i gotta do is pull this bolt out undo this this will slide down i gotta make sure there's no wasp in here and then that locks into place this goes like that where there's another one here and it will swing down. So this is a little dirty. I do plan on painting these like a brownish tan or I don't know, whatever I can find in the scratch and dent special at Menards or local shop. But I gotta clean these windows. The windows are a little dirty, but I can open these up. I can let air in, air out, all kinds of stuff. The side panels here, they're actually right here. And they just work off of a half system too. I do have one that's broke. I do have to get that fixed before uh, we put chickens in here, which we'll do today. But right now, we gotta get this ready for these baby chickens because they're getting evicted from the barn. I've had enough. They absolutely reek. If you guys have raised meat birds before, you know that brooder stage that their uh, their poo has a super super sweet pungent smell that's just gagging oh gosh but enough of that let's go check out these birds that we're going to be moving come on all right we gotta go check on these chickens now chicks chickens whatever you want to call it oh boy that thing don't you worry about that that's another video another time now we gotta let this thing air out a little bit before we go in there. Oh, I 
big boy muscles. Oh, oh good lord. Oh my gosh. It's so bad. You guys stink so bad. Fresh air. Oh. Oh. I know. You guys can't help it. I know. The coop could use a good cleaning. So don't. Don't beat me up about a dirty coop. But you guys ready? Here they are. You guys are getting big. Yeah, you are. You guys are getting big. All right, so we got a few things that we have to get done first. First, we gotta get power out to that coop because we gotta run these lights. Now, I didn't trench power. I'm not running underground power, but that will happen. It's just not happening right now. So the good old extension cord method from the garage or barn shop, whatever you wanna call this, out there is what's gonna need to happen. We need to get one of the uh, back panels repaired and then we need to sweep it all out and get all the trash out of it and we gotta put down some wood chips and these guys 50 birds they go through a lot of water so we have to get a nice big water in there for them and some feeders because these little tiny chicks they suck down they suck down probably about a gallon of water a day and it's not hot folks it's been 60s and 70s so it is fairly fairly cool so they drink a lot of water, so they get to get a big water. All right, nothing left to it but to do it. Anything to get this smell out of my garage. You know they make these fancy things where you can roll up extension cords and they keep them nice and untangled. And I own a few. You think I used it? <laughs> I ran out of cord. I need more extension cord. Just getting more extension cord. Guys, come on. You guys got to keep up. Let's do this. We got a lot of stuff to get done today. Don't be ragging on my pink cord either. She gets the job done. She's crusty, but she's trusty. I mean, I left a little space down here for my extension cord to go in, but that was after or before the fact I put a door in. So now I can't get the extension cord through that part of the door. So yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to get some tools. No, this isn't your home. Go on and get. What's up? None. You come down and look at the turkeys? Mm -hmm. Thought you hated them turkeys. <laughs> they're not my favorite at all. You, they're growing on you though. Well, I don't want them to die. Well, no. But, you oh like my, their little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a huge pile of poo, ain't it? Oh I think we need to get. 50 neat turkeys next year. <laughs> and we can have a herd. Yeah. We can herd them like cats. Huh? Nope. Ah. It's old wasp nest. <laughs> hey, you want it? <laughs> no? <laughs> I ain't taking my chances. <laughs> no? There could still be wasps in there and here. So, getting those meat birds is the best bang for your buck if you guys eat a lot of meat in your household now we're not going to eat 50 birds but we will sell some and to outweigh the cost and then we'll keep probably like 20 for ourselves eat them through the year maybe not that much maybe like half that maybe 10 but you know i took i did the i did the method of buying all the feed and the chickens all in a bundle at once and it saves you a lot more money in the long run when it comes to feed. So we got that fat stimulus check in. I went and bought some chickens and some feed. I guess you could say I got my money for nothing and my chicks for free. <laughs> what? Oh my God. 
You're such a dad. <laughs> I'm cool though, ain't I? Bravo six, we are going dark. Man, all right. I may just have to screw these boards in and or make new ones, but let's not worry about that now. Let's get this uh, tied it up. We'll get them screwed in, secured, so we can put chickens in here. Uh, we basically got our chains and stuff hanging down through this ladder. I got my chain links sitting down. I got my chain links cut, hanging, so we can make them adjustable. We got our power in here for our lamps. So I guess I guess I need to get some. Ooh, this lens does not work well with a uh, low light, but so I apologize if it goes in and out and gets dark and stuff. But I gotta go get these lamps. We'll start hanging those too. Well, guys, she's pretty much buttoned up right now. We just uh gotta put some feed in the feeder. Gotta clean that water out. It's pretty nasty. So we're gonna get that spick and span. We got the lights, wood chips, everything's buttoned up. I think the only thing left to do now is go recruit some little tricycle motors of children of mine and gather up all these little birdies and move them to their new home. Finally, out of my barn, that smell can be in here now. Oh, man. Come on, family. Bring the chickies. They taste good. We're gonna eat some tonight. Well, not. Probably not tonight. We're we're not eating these tonight. We're eating some other ones. Oh, I want fried chicken, mom. You better you better figure out some fried chicken for me. It's a big success. They like it. I like it. They got their heat lamps, water, chow. They got plenty of water, that's for sure. And all it took was about as much time to drink one cherry limeade. Oh, they're so loud. That's all I have for today. We got those chicks moved up there. They're absolutely going to love it. I'm going to be a lot happier coming down in here. So is everybody else who takes care of these birds because uh, it's a family effort. And it's not going to stink down here. And I get my shot back. So we'll see you on the next episode. And you guys take care and thank you for watching. Again. Again. Don't mess with my fried chicken. Yeah.